everybody. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. I thought I'd come on to show you um, how I make a uh, chaffle. So this is going to be the basic recipe. I probably am um, going to add a few extra things to it. So I just want you guys to see how I do this and show you what I'm going to eat. All right. So basically, I'm going to put a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. It's, only, it's very simple. A very basic recipe and one large egg and we're going to stir coordinate because half a cup of mozzarella cheese and one egg so if you make in I'm going to see how this one goes you know because I recently bought a new because uh, I had a bigger uh, waffle machine and this one is the smaller one. <laughs> it didn't cost much. I'm going to do. I'm going to add a teaspoon of, well, probably half a teaspoon of, of flavoring. So I know you're probably like, okay, keto, egg, egg. I'm tired of egg. But sometimes these don't taste um, really eggy. Um, and if you're concerned about that too, there there is a recipe for one with um, with almond flour. And the first time I made this, I was so amazed by it. Um, this was last year when I when I started my keto journey. And I didn't know what chocolates was until last, just a few months ago, in September. So I was very happy upon that I walked upon this discovery. So I'm gonna bring this camera up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chaffle mixture in here. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna spoon it in so I can control the you know kind of spread out. I think I'll have more be able to make more than um one. Okay. Just good blood. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that I can make more than one here. All right, so I'm going to close this and I'll let it sit until it's ready. And okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's see how it comes so far. Ah, looks pretty. One second, let's see. Let's give it a few more seconds. <laughs> it looks pretty good, guys. So I'm um, hoping that um, it tastes good. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna actually make the rest of uh, of this. All right. Now let's see how it is. And it's pretty hot. This little thing gets really hot. So I'm gonna take this up. Let's see. I don't know, it's still too soft. I want I want it to harden up just a little bit and I know it might be off because I took it out. So hopefully it won't look too crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking, well, the light went off, so that means it's ready. And I'll show you the light. Okay, so there's a light on here. Once, once it's ready, the light goes out. So I'm going to pour the mixture and the other mixture, or the rest of the mixture again. But before I do that, I'm going to put this, put the rest of the mixture there. this is um, cooking I just want to say that um, sometimes uh, uh, when you are um, starting keto for the first time it's hard to uh, it's hard to follow the plan let's say um, especially when you're used to eating things like waffles pancakes um, in the morning so this is a good alternative to have to um, to the bread but 
if you think of it, you know, some people can do this long term. And me, I do. I go off and on on a keto diet. Um, but it does. It is. See, <laughs> let me show. But it's beneficial uh, as well. Um, because I don't have. Because I. One of the things that I I started doing was. Um, testing myself every day just to see how different foods affect me and and I, I went accordingly. So this is what I have. I'm going to unplug this. In fact, I was going to make another one, but I think this is good enough. Alright, so here we go. These are my chaffles. So I'm, I've used a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And that half a cup of mozzarella cheese is about four carbs. Four carbs for this chaffle. So, here's how I'm going to layer up my chaffle. All right, so I have some Kerrygold butter. And while it's hot, I'm going to put my butter on my chaffle. Just a little butter. Butter. This butter has no carbs. Let's carry gold organic butter. All right, so we'll put a few blueberries on here and I have Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup and this is my favorite syrup, All right? So I'm just going to put a little syrup on, not much. And the syrup has zero carbs. So, here we go. This is my chaffles. Let me see if I can get a better picture. A better picture for you guys so you can see. Alright, so here are my chaffles with a few blueberries on top and sugar-free syrup. Carry gold butter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And let me see your chocolates. If you on the keto, you don't have to be on keto just to try these, just to see how it is or how it tastes. But um, these are pretty good. I like them. So thank All you right. for watching my video. I will have more videos coming just showing you what I eat in the day. And that way it'll help you in your journey, uh, your weight loss. Or, or if you're not on keto, just motivate you to, you know, to continue on in whatever plan that you're following. So I did lose, um, and these pants are, uh, of course I didn't, I couldn't wear it months ago, but now I can wear these, but these are kind of loose on me, but I did lose 35 pounds. Uh, I have lost 35 pounds since September, um, doing a combination intimate fasting and keto. So intermittent fasting is the first thing. It's my main source of uh, weight loss because I started with that first then did keto so I can tame my sweet tooth, which I did. So I wanted to stay that way. So now I'm trying to get to trying to lose the last five pounds so I can be, you know, at a great starting position for my weight loss. So um, subscribe, follow me if you want some motivation. Um, just follow me. I got plenty of videos that you can watch on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Facebook. So follow us. I have my husband as well. So he's on the journey as well. So we come on from time to time to do videos. So hopefully you guys uh, have a great rest of your day. And until next time, goodbye.